What's going on people? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're back down the unit and we are doing some bits on the track car. I've got some BC coilovers to go on it. I've had uh, custom specs. They're 10K front springs, 12K rears. So yeah, we'll be doing some coilovers today. Touring's in the background. That's been behaving itself. I've been using it every day this week. Done, I don't know, 150 miles in it. It's not broke, so it's a good thing. Uh, let me show you what we've got, these BC coilovers, and then we'll get stuck straight into it. We won't waste no time. So yeah, this is what we've got. Uh, obviously, BC coilovers are pretty good. Uh, they're probably the best of the cheapish ones. These cost me just over a grand. So custom specs, 10K front springs, 12K rears, all fully adjustable camber, stiffness, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll be going into the track car. I've just moved it back and it's given me a little, little present. We've got some power steering fluid leaking, so we'll have to have a look into that as well. But uh, yeah, I won't mess about. I will get uh, jacked up and we'll get stuck straight into it. So let's just show you how we get the strut out on the top of your strut tower. You've got three 13 mil nuts. Mine had the strut bar on it, but most of them don't anyway. So you've got your three 13 mil nuts there. You undo them. And then on the hub, you've got 18 mil bolt that goes through the top of the coil over. And if you look around here, that nut there, 18 mil, you've got one this side, one the other side. And that's it, your coil over comes out. Now, they're HSDs. I've got HSDs on this, and I just noticed that we've got a broken spring. So I've got another set of HSDs with better springs on, because I will be reusing these on the touring. I'll give them a bloody good clean up because they look hanging, but they're not actually that old. Uh, let's get this strut out and then we'll do a comparison of this next to the BC and I'll talk you through, you know, what I think's better. All that good stuff. All right, wait. So just to show you, this is the back of the wheel hub. You've got your two 18s that go here and here. And then you've got your other one that goes through there obviously that's there and there and there so you get them three off and then your three 13s off from the top and that's it they come out like really easy i've done probably 20 sets of coil overs on e36s over the years so it's literally taken me 10 minutes to get that out Really easy, so you can do it at home with just a basic kit. I'll get the coil over out and we'll stick it next to the BCs. So this is them next to each other. Now with the BCs, you've got the uh, the brackets for holding your brake lines, whereas on the HSDs, you don't have that. So you like your brake lines just flapping around which is just that's the difference in the quality like with the bc's you've got front right front left so you know which one goes on what comes with drop links obviously there's my snap spring it's just snapped off at the top uh yeah you know looking at them the, the bc's are just a little bit nicer quality over at the HSDs, not saying the HSDs are a bad coil over. Um, you know, I was pretty quick on these down the track. I can't complain at all about them. You know, they come on the car, so I, I adjusted it to my own geometry settings and stiffness and all that. Play about with it while you're at the track. So BCs, you've got a uh, camber adjustable top mounts. Got your stiffness there on the hsds 
it's the same thing you just turn this for stiff or soft again camber adjustment now these top mounts actually have caster adjustment as well which the bcs don't but again not a problem i've got some m3 lower arms which have got an eccentric rear bush so they'll be going in and yeah, one thing i will say with the hsds they haven't really fared too well to be honest they're only like fucking two years old so they have they have gone pretty scabby uh but yeah you know they're, they're, they're good coilovers i think these are like 600 quid where they're over a thousand pounds i've got a deal on them because my mate is a dealer so yeah i think with the custom specs it should have been about 1200 quid but i paid a grand for them so shout out to steve houston for that actually his channel's hardly exotic i've mentioned it before go over give him a follow he's doing some pretty cool stuff on a three to eight sport coupe so yeah let me get this in and i will show you what it's like all in right the way i fit them is i put the top mounting first comes with all new hardware it's all lovely so when you're trying to lift the hub up onto the coil over you know trying to lift this is really heavy so what i do is i just jack the bottom arm up on the jack to where it's roughly got to be pop that can't see it hold on yeah so jack the bottom arm up so this roughly lines up pop that 18 mil in the top uh, get that one in first then you can let the weight off of the jack and then you can push the bottom ones in and they should slide in pretty easy get them started by hand and then uh yeah get your ratchet on them so there we go that's one side fitted bolts in nice and tight so this is what i was on about with the brake line for your abs and your your brake line the hsts don't have this on so really it's you want that really don't you it's all it's all right the cable time up but that just looks much neater i won't be using the drop links because i've got anti uh white line anti roll bars so the drop links will be going on the touring but yeah there's one side done i've just left them as they come in the box set up and then we adjust all the height and that after when i'm at work and i've got the geometry machine to use well i'll get the other side smashed out and then we get on the back so you can see how that's done even easier on the back it's literally like three bolts happy days right we're on to the rear now again really simple you've got on the bottom of the shock Yeah, so we've got that 18 mil on the bottom of the shock there. What I suggest you do is when you've got the wheel off, get the uh, get the jack under it and make sure the weight is supported because when you take that off, you don't want the spring pushing the arm down too fast. So yeah, pop that 18 mil off and then inside the boot you'll have to take the boot carpet out because of this is obviously a track car it ain't got any 213s the shock comes out and then when you've done that let your jack down and you should be able to get the spring out of there you might have to put a bar in um the top of the cup and then just lever it down but it's not difficult to do I would put you on time lapse, but I forgot my tripod, so I can't. But yeah, that's how you do it. All right, just a quick look of the HSD next to the BCs. Obviously, I'll be better. The HSD actually is a lot more beefy. Um, so yeah, we'll see what that is like on the track, but top mounts 
all pretty similar. You know, they're all pillow ball top mounts, so they're all good. Spoon's a bit smaller. Yeah, BC adjuster's quite a nice little thing. As it says, always mount it on the top of the spring so it's easier to adjust. With all the adjustment and setting up the coil overs, I'll do in a separate video when I'm at work on the ramp. But yeah, we'll get this in and I'll show you where we are. So there we go. PC's all fitted. Spring in. I've wound the adjuster all the way down. Uh, having a look on the other side, I uh, I don't think it's going to be low enough, so I think I'll end up taking them back out. But there's the old HSDs. They're going to get a good clean up. I've got some other springs, so I'll be putting them them on, and that'll be going on the touring. Right, that's that's all done all fitted i wound the rear down as low as it would go on the cup adjusters and i think that's going to be too low we're going to get rubbing um it's got a 23540 semi slick on the back so as you can see it's pretty low uh, i don't think that's going to go so yeah the suspension setup i'd probably take it over to work on saturday and we get it on the geometry machine and I'll show you how to set it all up. I'll do a little video on that. I'll do a, a front, so I left where they came. So the fronts, um, fronts all right. Could do with coming down a little bit more. Um, yeah, I'll spin you around. Yeah, so like the front, I literally took them out of the box and fitted them. Uh, I've put them on full soft all the way around. It does feel pretty stiff, but it is the spring setup's pretty hard because obviously it's a track car. Like I say, the light, the back is pretty low. We're gonna get some rubbing on that, pretty definite on that. But we set the height up and redo a full geometry on it. I'll show you how that's all done. But yeah, for now, that's it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Give us a like. Give us a comment. I see I've got a lot of uh, people watching my videos in America. So give us a comment if you're in America. It'd be cool to have a chat with you. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. See you later.